At Virtual we use a range of technologies across all subject areas to help engage students, motivate them and ultimately make them better learners. It really helps to personalise the experience that the children have and create something that's very much their own. The students are able to benefit from any time, any place learning through our VLA. Boosted by the fact that every student in school has a laptop. The technology of virtual has really changed the way that I learn because I can be more an independent learner. Well, we have a whole host of pieces of equipment that we use at the PE. Uh, we use plasma screens. We can play videos on those. We can show examples of elite performers. The students really get a, a motivated watching those as well. And it's something really aspirational for them to see that kind of level of performance. So watch them for a couple of moments and film them. Stand with them, play it back through, and talk to them about areas that they're doing really well on, and perhaps pick out on some points that they need to improve on. Uh, we use the Buzzbiz, which are absolutely fantastic. They're little handheld cameras that we use for students. They're really simple to use. Uh, students nowadays, they're, they're familiar with using technology, even at home as well as in school, so it's quite simple for them straight away to get using those Buzzbiz in lessons. So it's good because you've got side on. Hmm. But maybe you could have yeah. twisted around a bit more. It gives the students the ability to see themselves perform. It's all very well as a teacher being able to explain to a student, you've not done this quite right, you need to improve on this. But actually being able to physically see themselves perform completely transforms the way in which they take that feedback and they can go away, improve on their performance, they know exactly what it is we're talking about so they can see it for themselves as well. I use technology a lot actually. Um, I take the children out before using PSPs in the uh, around the school grounds collecting data or making videos which they then can then come into school and create their own movies from. Uh, it sort of enables the children to be more creative and it sort of brings the outside world into the lesson for them. So whether that is going on online onto the internet and sort of searching for images or whether it is using their own creative skills by putting together posters or presentations, um, I find that. Um, they really can get creative and sort of let their imaginations run wild. I use the uh, BLE quite a lot in class actually as well. Um, it gives me the opportunity to incorporate lots of different activities into the lessons and it keeps the children interested and sort of more excited about learning. If we do the quizzes, we get the answers straight away so you know whatever you've done. Right folks, that was absolutely fantastic, brilliant work, fabulous teamwork. Let's have a look now at your results and see how we've got on. Right, that is absolutely fantastic. We've got loads of you there, really obviously showing that you've understood exactly what we've been doing today. 18 out of 18 is absolutely brilliant, well done. It also means that I can go on and show my parents what I've been doing in school by logging in through my laptop. Games-based learning helps me learn better because like, when, you, when you're playing a game, you feel more relaxed in class and like, you'd rather do that than write down or just go play on Microsoft Word because that's just boring. You might It's better to like be in a zone like which you enjoy and everything to, when you're doing work. Yes, because you're like in your own surroundings and like, you'd be comfortable with, like, doing games that mean the same thing as doing the sort of boring work. Um, we've used Roll Coaster Tycoon, Sim Lemonade. They're all like games you need to experiment and like, be clever with. And, like, we figured out what people wanted and what people didn't want using market research skills and we wrote a report to the manager of the theme park seeing which ride you should build in this park. Um, well, me being a keen gamer uh, helps me learn. Uh, it's very engaged and it motivates me. Using Scratch and making my own games has been a bit challenging at first, but after I got the hang of it, it was really easy. Yeah, you like, you've got to give instructions, like, you've got to rethink really your logical. It's like one part of the instruction missing, none of it will work. The use of new technology in maths has enabled a far more creative approach to teaching and learning that encourages the pupils to take an active part in their learning and gives them um, a way of learning in a more real life, functional way. One of those such things is the bolting pads. Adds a lot of competition to the room and makes it a lot more entertaining. You remember why you learn a lot better. 
Augmented reality uh, introduces a different element into lessons. It means that we can enhance previously used resources in a way that engages the pupils by adding videos, pictures, uh, links to different areas. So for example, in revision, the augmented reality has been used where a code has been attached to past paper and the students have been able to get help from their questions so that they can check their work and check their own progress at, the, at a rate that's suitable to them instead of having to rely constantly on a teacher stopping a class and going through.